Welcome to a video from the TeachLifestyle.com. New Windows 11 build to look at. This is 25309 for Windows Insiders on their dev channel. A couple of interesting things on here. First one I want to show you is the new volume mixer um, in quick settings. So you see here you've got a little volume mixer icon and you go to there and you can see the individual apps. So I've uh, loaded a couple of things. So I've got a couple of instances of Spotify, Windows Media Player, and I can say that I want Spotify to be at that volume and Windows Media Player to be down at that volume. So if you've got multiple things playing at the same time, you can control them from here, from this um, from this new volume mixer. You notice here, this is I'm using a virtual machine, so it's remote audio. But if you have multiple audio devices, they'd be listed there and you can switch between them. There's also a new shortcut key, Windows Control V, to open the mixer. So that's something you couldn't do uh, in the old version without going through to the old style one. And there's the new one. I actually like that because I like to have control over the audio devices and you've got a nice, quick, easy way of switching. You could do the switching bit before, but now you've got the, the volume mixer. So each time you open an application that accesses the Windows audio, it would appear in there and you've got that uh, control over it. So there's a couple of changes as well. One is around the touch keyboard settings. So if I go into uh, settings. So my showing uh, the option show the touch keyboard when there's no keyboard attached. Actually, and the new setting, which I haven't got yet. So it looks like it's just slowly rolling out. It gives you the option of um, of changing that. You can change it between um, never when keyboard's attached and always. I'll show you a picture of that on the screen so you can see what that will look like once it rolls out. So the changes if you use the voice access, that's where you can use voice control show windows. I've got a full video of this on our YouTube channel. Uh, they've added some more languages, uh, UK English, Indian English, uh, New Zealand English, Canadian English and Australian English. Reintroduced to this build as well, I haven't got any actions pending, but if you had some actions pending, like um, back up your files or something like that the notifications can show on the power button now so uh so i've not got any pending at the moment but they could appear there so it would be if you back up windows OneDrive wasn't working or your one drive wasn't working something like that that can show there to show that you've got actions pending also an update is the um you can have a lighter search box with a lighter background colour on there if you've got personalisation enabled. I haven't on this virtual machine because it takes a full licence if you do that, but um, yeah, you, you've got that choice. File Explorer has been updated from WinUI 2 to WinUI 3. Now it looks like I'm still on 2 because you can tick, you get 3 because you'll get a little pizza icon there to show the difference. There's no functionality difference, but I think it means that they can do more with it in the future. So it looks like I'm still on the WinUI 2 and uh, if you get the picture icon you're on WinUI 3. Snap Layouts was updated a few builds ago and they're reintroducing that now so um, or they're trying experiments with different ways of doing it so when you hover over your maximize button like that you can get this um, these layout view that's the current version but on the new one you'll see actual icons on there so Again, and still looks like it's showing me the, the old version. Uh, but I'll show you a picture of that as well. The widget icon as well has been updated. So if you're using high contrast ratios in your settings, you know, accessibility mode, that kind of thing, these little icons work better as well. It's that you've still got, and of course in widgets, you've still got the option to add these new ones in. I've got them in already, like Messenger and, and Spotify, which you can see on our previous videos. So that's the main changes. So fixes with this one include... Uh, fixes for uh, USB, connecting to USB devices, they fixed some issues with Explorer crashing and they fixed some issues with icons appearing on the wrong monitor when you've got multi-monitors and they fixed some issues where widgets were not working correctly. I'm still finding the widgets a bit hit and miss. Um, as you can see the Spotify one is tends to be just a blank screen so um, there's still some issues around widgets for me. The fix some issues is another one for uh, ARM users. Uh, Microsoft 365 now uh, the networking works correctly. There's one new vo uh, issue with this one, and that's around voice access. That's the voice control. So the voice access page may not include all the commands, or maybe slightly inaccurate. They're updating the text on that. There is the no issues conti continue like investigating issues where experience user experiencing longer in issues build times. I haven't found any of those issues. This build was actually pretty quick to install.
But the main thing in this build is the new volume mixer, the modern volume mixer. I like that. I think that's good that that's there. So uh, that'll be. I'm glad to see that rolling out uh, in the future to Windows users. So thanks for watching this video. You can find out more on our YouTube channel on thejustlifes.com. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.